What's up guys and welcome back. Wednesday, puzzle day. Hope you enjoyed that intro. I'm really looking forward to this puzzle. I love lock puzzles. They're probably one of my favorite puzzles in the entire world. Scoured the globe for this one, by the way. Left the link below if you're interested. It's called the Hokey Koki or Hokey Pokey or in New Zealand, the Hokey Toki lock puzzle. I'm gonna read to you a little bit of the product description. Sung the song, you've danced the dance, now own the puzzle lock. Uh, the Hokey Koki lock is a trick opening lock, uh, which means it opens in a non-conventional secret manner. I think we know that. In the USA, the song the lock is named after is known as the Hokey Pokey, and New Zealand, the Hokey Toki. All right. <laughs> puzzle has been made by modifying a standard brass padlock. The Hokey Koki lock is the first puzzle lock designed by Ali Morris and was Steve's exchange puzzle at the 38th International Puzzle Party IPP, 38. Uh, <clears throat> puzzle comes with a keychain bottle opener, which vary in color. The whole puzzle, including the keys, weighs about 175 grams, stands about 90 millimeters tall and 40 millimeters wide. For all you spec nerds out there, there you go. All I know about this puzzle, doesn't probably open with these keys as you know, you'd probably figure. So without any further ado, actually a little bit more ado. If you notice, I'm wearing a really cool hat today. These are not available yet and they're not finished. This is a prototype of a hat. Uh, we're working on a bunch of merch right now. First being the brand of the merch and I can't wait to uh, share that with you guys. It'll be in the next, I would say in the next month or so. And yeah, I'll give you a closer look at those items as, they, uh, as they're as they produced. So guys, no more ado. Let's get into solving the hokey cokey toki pokey lock puzzle. <laughs> Here we go. These, uh, these are, this is the thing. Here's the hokey. Pokey. Hokey cokey or hokey pokey lock. Yeah. The hokey cokey lock, an exchange gift from Steve Nichols, designed by Allie Morris. Uh, <laughs> you thought, but no. So here we are. This doesn't open. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the, the guy who uses the keys and expects this to open right now. Hold on. Cause you know. Oh, oh, what a surprise. What is, it doesn't open. Oh, this one? Oh, look at that, it, it, it doesn't open. Yeah, we knew that going in. What's this thing? What is this thing? Maybe like this. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> okay, we've got this, I think this is a bottle opener. Why this is on here, I don't know. Is it just simply to, you know, to label it or does it actually have something to do with this puzzle? There's no way of finding out. Hey, give it a give it a good old uh, uh, give it a good old spin. That's definitely gonna work. No. There's also this little hole here. Uh, I believe every lock has this kind of little hole, so. Not too worried about that. Let's have a look at this. Does this come apart? Is there an extra tool? No. Yeah, okay. I don't know what to do. What is this? Huh? Maybe the clue to opening this lock has to do with the nursery rhyme. Hokey, cokey, rhyme, popular. Hokey pokey, okay, is a popular children's song and dance. Very catchy melody. <laughs> so it's good that you put your right foot in, you put your right foot out. Don't see how that's gonna help me here. And then you shake it all, oh, you shake it all about. So, oh, okay, hold on. Maybe these are clues. <gasps> okay, wait. You, you put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. 
do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around and that's what it's all about. Okay. So, there are two keys. Are these keys identical? They are not. Why are they different? So maybe you put your right key in, you take your right key out, you put your left key in, and then you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Oh wait, turn yourself around. Maybe the key's going backwards. Hello. Maybe not. There's gotta be more to this. Let's keep reading the clues. <laughs> it just repeats itself. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. Okay. In, out, in. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. Wait, why isn't this not going in like it was? Ooh, interesting. In. Out. <laughs> in. Out. not right I mean what else can we get from this nursery rhyme here other than you put it in you put it out you put it in you shake it all about turn it around and that's what it's all about okay so I mean in out in Why do I have a bottle opener? And put the right in. There's a little sound in here. You guys hear that? Maybe. Okay, hold on. In. Yeah, there's definitely a... <gasps> oh, uh, 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 uh. Look at this, mi amigo. Of course it is. Of course it's a thing like that. What does that mean?
Look at that, that seam just absolutely disappears. You can't even tell where that seam is. Boom, gone. Some really good, really good machining. But now what? That one can just fit back in there. That's no problem. Wait. Oh wait, that is a problem. Why did I do that? Oh. Oh, just goes in and then comes out. So that's it. The keys have nothing to do with anything. But what does this have to do with the nursery rhyme? Wait, before we speak too quickly here. Locked. That's all it is. This goes here, that comes here, that goes there. And that's it. Boom, done, solved. Not too hard at all. The keys are just an illusion. They're just a ruse, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a mechanic here, uh, basically these, uh, inside this lock, there are these like ledges, and if that goes in through the ledge, like that, there's no ledge there, but if I put that in, um, it'll come out as soon as I rotate, whoops, as soon as I rotate this. So that goes there, and as soon as this rotates, then it can come out. That's really cool. Keys not required. Bottle opener. I mean, I guess if you're celebrating afterwards, after opening this lock, you can pop yourself a bottle of booze. Um, but yeah, very cool. Easy, kind of easy. I mean, mind you, I would have been on this for hours if I hadn't noticed that seam. And I guess shaking it uh, doing the hokey pokey uh, made it come loose and then that's how I uh, that's what it's all about yeah <laughs> oh, that's so lame boom so uh, here's my question why not just why not just put this in there then well I guess because they want you to use the keys and kind of dink around with it like I did boom there you go. Well, there you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That was the hokey pokey toki loki noki pokey puzzle. It was uh, it was a fun little puzzle to do. Reminded me a lot of the uh, Danlock B puzzle, where part of that uh, part of the loop unscrews. Um, but with brass puzzles, as you can see right here, we got a close up image of uh, when you sort of unscrew it. The seam is so well hidden and so well disguised with brass puzzles that it basically becomes invisible when it's screwed together, which is really cool. And it's one of those cool things, cool elements that you can add to lock puzzles because of the fact that they're made of brass. So it adds a little bit of a secret to it, which I thought was really cool. Keys don't do anything. The bottle opener doesn't do anything. So those are all just red herrings uh, meant to throw you off, which is really cool. Uh, I do enjoy that. I don't enjoy fiddling with things that don't work, but I do, I, once you solve it, it's cool. So anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Okay. You gotta cover it, you gotta cover it up completely. Are you still rolling? Yeah. Okay, do the, okay, we're I gonna. Did, I did go like that, I just missed it. You I missed? Just, I went like half. Oh. Don't do half. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Take two. Lee, Lee's gonna be, because the camera, you gotta understand, is like 15 feet from me right now. So I can't do like the whole piece rah, thing. So we're gonna do it where like Lee's gonna be my hand. It's gonna look like garbage, but here we go. Peace. Rah. That's better.